Hello, my name is George and today I'm going to do a quick video on how to cap your FPS using a new feature enabled in the latest NVIDIA driver update 441.87. So uh, if you're using an AMD card, you're not going to be able to do this uh, the way that I show this on my YouTube video. But anyways, uh, most people use NVIDIA graphics card anyways, and I will label so accordingly on my uh, on my YouTube video when I put it up. So um, up until now, really, you'd have to use third party third party applications in order to do this. So um, like Rivatuner built into MSI Afterburner or just Rivatuner on its own, you'd go in and you'd cap your FPS and then uh, you'd be you'd be golden um, cap your FPS for various reasons whether you're getting stutter or you want to cap it to your native monitors refresh rate I still recommend that you do use a river tuner um, there's some applications that still you know still apparently are wonky using this Nvidia control panel feature but in any case if you want to reduce system utilization by capping your FPS you know lower than your native or native uh, monitors refresh or at that native uh, refresh rate that your monitor has then this is a quick and easy way to do so so first things first you're gonna need to make sure that you have the latest update uh, of the driver revision which is 441.87 and I'll put that in the link in the description below once I put the video up on YouTube um, so I'll get the magnifier so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so first things first, once you have updated your driver properly, you're going to right click on your desktop and then go into NVIDIA Control Panel. Once you have opened NVIDIA Control Panel, which it'll look like like this, without the magnifier enabled. So just some people uh, find it difficult to uh, see uh, with the output resolution that I said on YouTube so anyways this will make be able to see easier so what you do is once you have your NVIDIA control panel open um, go to manage 3d settings over here in the top left under 3d settings and this should work on laptops as well if it doesn't then I will see why it why it doesn't and then um, if you do still require to cap your FPS um, well you can go watch my video it's uh, it's in the video section on my YouTube channel, and then it'll say like how to cap your FPS using Rivatuner or something, and then you can watch that. And I can also have that linked in the description below in case there, for some reason, people don't are incapable of using it or utilizing this feature on a laptop because sometimes it's wonky how Nvidia has different features on different driver packs on different platforms than desktop. So what you do is you click on NVIDIA Manage 3D Settings over here. Let me just Manage 3D Settings. And then you scroll down to where it says Max Frame Rate right here. And then it'll be off by default. And what you do is you click on this, and then you click on where it says On. And then you'll go ahead and set your FPS to whatever you have it as your monitor's uh, native output. Or if you want to reduce system utilization on certain games and you're trying to stream them on the same PC, then you could set it a little bit lower or something. You know, like let's say that you're running a 240 FPS monitor, but the game that you want to run, like GTA, for example, doesn't require, you know, anywhere near the kind of FPS that you're talking about. Not only that, but the game engine doesn't, you know, is incapable of displaying over 160 something, I believe. So you go ahead and set it to like, I don't know, 140 or something, and then you'll get reduced system utilization. Um, after that, you click OK, and then you click Apply, and then, yeah, it should be enabled. Um, I've used it a couple times. Um, I still revert back to using Rivatuner because, uh, I don't know, it's just the simplest uh, and uh, it's just the simplest software that I've ever used regarding it. But yeah, this is a new option within the new driver pack. Um, yeah, 441.87. So I think it's a cool new feature. It's always um, it's always nice to see new features built into the NVIDIA uh, control panel that we did not have before. So once you have clicked OK, you can just go down here. Click apply and then it's applied, right? So that's it. I mean, there's really, uh, there's really nothing to it. Um, yeah. If you want even more 
system, you know, system resources, you can bring down your FPS even more, but I think that's about it. There's really no reason for me to go into more depth than that. Um, just uh, one more side note, if you do have like 144 FPS uh, G-Sync monitor or like a FreeSync mon well, let's just say a G-Sync monitor if you're, because you're using an NVIDIA graphics card and you have G-Sync enabled on a FreeSync panel, for example, and it's 144 uh, hertz G-Sync panel slash FreeSync panel, you want to go ahead and set your refresh rate in here, like three under, because sometimes it doesn't work at like 144, so I usually just go three under and then it works perfectly fine. I mean, it would be hard for you to notice a difference between 141 and 144 FPS. I just set it three down from the native refresh, so click OK and then apply it and then it'll be applied and then... Yeah, I mean, you have your result. Um, it works pretty flawlessly. So, uh, And uh, that's pretty much it from me for today. I know it's a very short video. Um, yeah, if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments section below. Um, please like and subscribe on my channel if you enjoyed this content and would like to see more from me. I put up content basically every day. It doesn't happen every day for some reason uh, because I'm busy with one thing or another with live streaming every day, but I try to put up content every day. So uh, please come back tomorrow um, for the next one and uh, bye for now. Thanks for watching.